Hi guys, in this today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do alopecia hair. As you can see, I have my old woman here. So she's over 70 years and I want to do her hair. Her hair is alopecia and what causes her own alopecia is aging. So guys, stay tuned and let's get started started for the tutorial first thing you wash the hair and make sure you achieve the hairstyle on a clean hair after that you go ahead and you begin to session the hair depends on the style you want to give to the hair but this particular one mama said she wants to cool like this woman is over 70 years old so she said she wants to cool so that she'll be able to tie gilly so i decided to give her this lovely l tie just to cover the alopecia and a bit it's not as if i'm covering everything i just want to cover it a bit so first thing i sectioned here into two equal parts then i decide to braid one at the middle just straight so guys um after that i Oh. Guys, you know how you session shuku now. First thing, I session it into two at the back. After that, the one at the front, I just session it into two equal parts again. Then I braid one at the middle before I begin to braid this alopecia part. As you can see, guys. So just pay attention. Watch from the beginning to the end. Do not skip. So that you won't miss any single step of doing this lovely cornrow. Can you see guys? This is cornrow. So I use feeding method to do this lovely cornrow. Can you see guys? So now, um, this is the part I want you guys to see. So after braiding one at the middle, so I decide to session it from the, the where there's hair. As you can see, then I started braiding it before adding the extension so i'm using feeding method hello my lovely people welcome back once again my beautiful people thank you so much my returning subscribers thanks for always tuning into the channel i really appreciate every one of you and for my new subscribers like if you are watching any of my video for the first time please don't forget to hit subscribe button to join the family also turn your notification bell so that i'll be notified anytime i upload a new video so guys as you can see can you guys see so when you are about to cover your hand you ask someone to help you and press it so that you'll be able to join the hair together and you'll be able to braid it fluently can you see guys so the reason why you ask someone to hold it so that where there is no hair it won't shift and mama said she can hold it that's that she's using her hand to press it can you see guys so i'm doing three at the front just to cover it all the way to the back can you see so you can decide to depend on where the alopecia is located so it depends the style that you give to it this particular one can you see how i'm trying to cover it a bit it's not it's not as if i'm covering it all because mama wants she doesn't want full hair she just wants something simple and nice she doesn't want to stay for long and this else die took me like an hour yes took me just an hour so guys can you see so when you finish braiding it like this particular one i braid three just to cover the alopecia parts so after that i just begin to braid it from the middle just to braid it so now guys what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to use thread needle and thread just to secure it together to avoid it from shifting that's the reason why you need to use needle and thread so while you are trying to fix it with needle and thread make sure the thread is not obvious you tack it under so the needle has to go through the under the braid can you see guys so the thread must not show when you are trying to join it together 
just take note of that and that's what i'm doing so i'm trying to fix it under so that the thread will not be obvious can you see guys so you tack it very well to make it firm so after when you are done tacking it it depends if you are doing more braid at the front you tack everything at once so since i'm just doing three can you see guys? It's just three that I used to cover it all the way to the back. That's why I'm tacking it. You tack it first before you proceed to another one. So after tacking it, you just cut the excess thread away. And that's what I'm doing here. So after cutting it away, you go ahead and you begin to do the cornrow. Can you see guys? Just pay attention. Please let me know in a comment section. If this video is helpful to you guys, go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section. Please, I love seeing your comments. Like the video, share to your friends and family. And let me know if you guys have a star in mind that you want me to do tutorial on. Let me know in the comment section and I will upload your request. So guys, that's how I keep going with this lovely braid. Can you see guys? So when you get to the tip of the braid, you braid it very well. Then you leave it. You don't have to braid everything. So that's how you keep going. Can you see guys? I'm almost done with the lovely braid. So you braid it. So this particular one, I'm doing it feeding method. So like I always said, start with the natural air first before adding extension. And that's what I'm doing here. Can you see? Don't make it too tight. There is no any enjoyment making hair too tight. So guys, can you see? I'm almost done. So after braiding it, I just go ahead and because... This mama wants, can you see guys, I'm done with the front part, so I, I decide to secure it so that it won't disturb me while I'm trying to fix the back. So you just comb it, and this back, I just make it straight. So guys, I'm done, I try to fix the back off camera, so guys, so after when I'm done with the fixing of the back, I try to trim it very well. So when you are doing it, make sure you trim it, because... Trimming is part of making braids. Like you need to take your time and trim it properly. So now after trimming it, I go ahead and use my needle and thread. Can you see as I'm fixing it, just watch carefully and you guys will understand what I'm doing there. So I try to fix it so that I'll be able to stock the remaining hair inside, you know. The mama is an elderly person, so she doesn't want something that will be disturbing her. She want me to stock it inside. And that's how Yoruba people like. Yes, I'm proud of my tribe. So, as a Yoruba woman, this is what they call real Yoruba woman. If you see an elderly Yoruba woman, this is what they like doing with their hair. So, now I'm trying to stock it in. So after stocking it inside, try to place it in order so that it will look neat. You try to fix it and arrange it well and that's what I'm doing here right now. So guys, after when you arrange it and stock it inside and you notice there's a space inside the hair. So what you are going to do is just to take extra extension. Can you see guys? So like the way I'm feeling it, I'm feeling there's a space inside. So I'm trying to do something to make it look more beautiful. So now you just take this extension. It's still the same extension you use and braid the hair. You wrap it, fold it together. Can you see guys? So after folding it together to make it smaller, then you chuck it inside the chuku. Yes, you chuck it inside so that it will be bold. The chuku will pump out very well. Can you see, guys? Then you use your hand to arrange it properly. So after arranging it, you just go ahead and you tack it. Yeah. Make sure you arrange it well. So after that, you just go ahead and you 
you secure it with your needle and thread and that's all about this lovely tutorial guys let me know if you guys enjoy watching give the video a big thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section can you see guys so now after securing it well you cut the excess thread away and you are done for this lovely else tie can you see guys so after that you just go ahead and retrim it again to make it more professional and this is the final look of this lovely braid thank you so much guys i will see you in my next video bye bye i love you oh mwah.